What's up everyone? Thank you for joining in. This is episode one of this channel. My name is Mike. I'll be your narrator, your storyteller, your vlogger. Uh, I've been living here in Korea for six years now. Uh, recently got married, had a baby boy. His name is Noah. It's the cutest baby in the world. Unfortunately, the company I've been working for for the last six years has been going through some tough times and they've been laying off a lot of people and I was one of the casualties. As of right now, for the last week, week and a half, I've been unemployed. I don't have a job. Um, which is kind of scary because I have a kid to feed. I've been going online, going on Craigslist, uh, work and play, uh, LinkedIn, all these websites. Even got a couple of headhunters looking for jobs for me. Um, must have wrote hundreds of cover letters, uh, hundreds of different versions of my resume, and nothing. Zero. Zilch. Uh, I've gotten a lot of rejection letters, which is um, not the most encouraging thing in the world, but this vlog is kind of like a diary or um, a documentary, you might say, of my life from being unemployed and hopefully rising to the top. You know, this is a documentation of my process from starting from the bottom, now we're here. As Drake would say, or started from the bottom to the top. Bottom to the top, that's my goal. My goal. After days of planning, you know, days of looking for a job, days of just stressing out, I decided to take action. And the only action that I could think of that is logical, the most reasonable thing to do as a unemployed father, as an unemployed husband, is I decided to go on a shopping spree to buy gear. Let's go. go, 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 go. So at this point, I met up with a good friend of mine, Tyler. He is the co-founder of the production company that uh, him and I are going to start. It's called Singed Beard Productions. Singed Beard. So the beard's kind of like on fire. You'll see the graphic later. He's been a good friend of mine for the last six years. We've worked together. He's the CEO and founder of TheMovieBeat.com. Links here. There is no link, I haven't figured it out, so links down below, I'll figure it out sometime. But uh, he runs the moviebeat.com, he reviews Asian cinema, he also does like unboxing of limited edition Blu-rays, so if you're into Blu-rays, if you're into collector's items, uh, check out his website, it's awesome, he's a cool guy, support him, like and subscribe to his channels. So we decided to go to Chungmuro, Chung, Chungmuro? Chungmoro? 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 We heard that they sell a lot of camera and slash film equipment there, so uh, we're gonna head that way. Let's go!
So we're gonna head to Namdaemun because Chungmuro seems to have really old stuff. Chungmuro. Chungmuro seems to have really old stuff. So and uh, mark the prices. <laughs> mark the prices. So we're gonna head to Namdaemun. So, what did I end up buying? Couple of things. First, I bought this Low Pro Tactical 450W backpack. Um, I was using this Canon strap backpack, just killing my shoulder. Uh, plus, the more lenses I buy, the bigger the bag I need. So, I heard great things about it. It also has a rain fly on the bottom, so you could cover it up if it starts raining, which is double thumbs up in my books. I also bought this Canon 50mm 1.4 lens. Um, I played around with it. You'll get beautiful, beautiful bouquet shots. Oh man, this is so nice. So if you ever want to do close-ups or anything like that with that blurry background, I highly recommend this lens. I also bought this Sigma. Let's see right here. Sigma 18-35. 1.8 aperture lens. Uh, this is the money lens. Uh, if you're ever filming music videos or uh, even just anything, I highly recommend this lens. Uh, so 1.8 aperture throughout, even with the zoom. So even if you zoom, your your aperture won't change, which is just beautiful. Also, it's a Sigma lens, so you know it's it's just the quality of it is amazing. I also bought the Panasonic GH4 uh, 4K camera. It's, it's a beautiful camera. It's what I'm shooting on right now. On top of that is the Rode Mic Pro. I don't really know much about uh, microphones, but after doing a lot of research, they say that's the best. So I went with that. Um, on the GH4, I have a Panasonic Vario uh, 12 to 35 2.8 lens. That's gonna be my walk around lens. That's gonna be my vlogging lens. That's my wide angle lens. So now you might be asking me, how am I using these lens, the Sigma and the Canon, on the GH4? You have to pick up one of these adapters. This bad boy is the Metabone Speed Booster Ultra. Uh, what this does, it, it's an adapter, so you can mount Canon lenses on your GH4. Plus, you also gain a stop on your lenses. For example, the 50 millimeter is a 1.4. Now, if I put this adapter, now if I put this adapter, the Metabone Speed Booster, on my camera with that lens, that 1.4 becomes a 1.2. More light, more bokeh, more blurriness, more beautiful shots. I highly recommend you guys pick one of these up as well. So I do have a question for you guys. Have any of you ever gone through this, like uh, being laid off, losing a job, and then bouncing right back up? Some advice for me, I mean, I never really got laid off before. I'm not tooting my own horn, but never got laid off before. I always left on my own accord. This is the first time I'm like, you know, out of a job all of a sudden, which sucks. 
So if there's any advice you could give me, I really appreciate it. Please give me some advice in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this video. Um, please like the video, subscribe to my channel. I promise you I will put up more, more and more meaningful, awesome content for you guys. So, um, thanks. See ya.